your reaction to the wrongful death lawsuit that's been filed this afternoon? Well, we're not surprised. We're disappointed. Obviously, it's just a repeat of a case that was dismissed earlier. Um, you know, there's nothing that I've heard. I've been here for a significant part of the trial. I didn't hear anything in here that would suggest uh, that anything's changed from when the case was first dismissed. Um, obviously, the ministry and Joyce and Daniel personally I believe they have no responsibility here. They've acted responsibly. Um, you know, if Mr. Coleman did it, and again, the man's on trial for his life in there, and there's been no determination yet, but if he did it, it would have been an act of an individual in his private life, then you know, employers are not responsible for what employees go home and, and do in their house. So there's nothing you see in his employment record that the ministries could have prevented in terms of what's happening in this courtroom? Absolutely not. And you heard the testimony in there from uh, the detective that the, the police in Columbia were investigating these threats uh, from November of 2008. Now, that, that's the body charged with doing this, and it would have been inappropriate uh, for the ministry to have interfered with an ongoing police investigation. This is just about money, folks. I mean, you heard a lot of people in there uh, being named as having information about things that were going on in the Coleman marriage that the ministry knew nothing about. None of those people are named in this lawsuit because none of those people have any money. 